Hey, Bean. Hey, Jack. So what are we doing today? We are making graham cracker pie crust. Yay! That's my favorite crust. Are simple to make, costs about the same if not cheaper, and what I really like about a homemade graham cracker crust is you can get them kind of thick, and they're crunchy, and they really add to the pie. They're not just mm -hmm. something holding it together. Right. They add to the experience of the pie. I agree. Yeah. This is this is actually the pie crust that has been uh, the base for many of our award-winning pies over the years. Members of our family have used this exact recipe, won state fairs mm -hmm. with this with this pie crust. We've yep. won big pie competitions with this pie crust mm -hmm. holding up our yep. pies so it's a good crust yeah it's a good one there's lots of different versions of graham cracker pie crusts but this one is it's been good to us mm -hmm. all right sure has so let's show everyone how to make this simple pie crust you need graham cracker crumbs of course cup and a half five to six tablespoons of butter we'll talk about that later three tablespoons of sugar some recipes call for more but three is what we like a nine to ten inch pie pan and then there's kind of some extra tools for this uh, some secret weapons for making it uh, hold together well all right so we need to then uh, get our graham crackers and pound them all up now you can do this two different ways you can put them in a plastic bag and uh, pound them all up and uh um, during these crazy times that we're in sometimes, or if you're getting frustrated with life, you might just go a little nuts on them. Make a bunch of graham cracker crumbs. Yeah, and just take out your emotions on the graham cracker. Poor little graham cracker crumbs. I don't usually do it this way anymore. I kind of go for this route. What's that route? Well, it's the uh, food processor. Oh. Yeah, so I put in the, um, the um, enough to, to get a cup and a half and uh, we run it through the food processor and do you like why do you do it that way because it's I, more fine or do you like them all being more even yeah it's kind of cleaner it's super <clears throat> fast so now let's show how easy this crust is to make you need to so one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs you, so you need to get to the point of one and a half graham cracker <clears throat> crumbs and then after you add the one and a half cups into a bowl, add three tablespoons of sugar to the bowl, and, uh, and mix that up a little bit. Get that sugar incorporated. Is it best to use a whisk? Yeah, to do that? I, I find so. I mean, you could use a spoon, but um, for you this just job, want the sugar mix. And you want a big fatty balloon whisk too, because otherwise it's all. If you use a small whisk, it's going to get all. Be uh, uh, stuck in there when you get the um, the butter added in a in a second. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now we want to add the butter. Do you? And uh, we need five to six tablespoons. And let's talk about the. Uh, you need to melt that down. Um, this really depends on uh, where you are and what season it is right now. Um, as I've traveled uh, across country and competed in different pot competitions, um, some areas are just more humid and um, sometimes the season is more humid and sometimes five tablespoons is all I need and sometimes I add my five and, and uh, everything is as dry as can be and I still need to add another tablespoon. So. Oh, so you mean when there's five to six tablespoons, sometimes you might need five sometimes five or six you might need six to make the crust yeah, moist right stay moist yeah i would start with oh, okay. five and then see where it's at um and we'll talk about where where it should get to in just a second but um you might need to to add another tablespoon and then how long you should you mix it there's little chunks of butter here uh, making bigger chunks so i just beat that up it's not really chunks of butter but it's kind of I've gotten bigger pieces, so I want to make sure it's totally incorporated, just like and it that. It almost looks like sand. Yeah, wet, wet sand. Wet sand. But um, not soggy sand. You want to make sure everybody kind of says it should look like wet sand when it's done, but.
but don't make it wa ooh, soggy sand because if it's soggy sand you're going to see that when you bake this it's going to melt down the sides if you get too much butter it will melt down so get your nine or ten inch pan this recipe is big enough for both and uh, this is a, a, a pretty deep dish nine inch pan here it's not a ten inch um, but it's a deeper dish it's not totally deep dish i think this is about one and a half inch walls on the side here's how i do it i get um, about two-thirds of it or so half to two-thirds two-thirds i think um, into the pie pan and then um, kind of the most common technique is just to gently use your fingers you can use a spoon or some kind of a any flat surface that you have I've seen people do it with a spatula um, spoon gives you a lot of um, um, control over it I mean your your hand did I say spoon mm -hmm. yeah you said spoon is good too but the hand gives you a lot of control see how I started it there and then I kind of come back and just do a little bit see how fast I'm turning that there this takes a while to kind of get the feel yeah for I was it. gonna say that's a lot faster than I can do it yeah and yeah um, so i think this, you've made it a few more times i made it a I few have. more times so it just takes a little while and then take the rest of it um and you might have leftover if you use a smaller pan than this you'll have some extra uh i would just put that on a cookie sheet and bake it off and uh you have a nice topping for your ice cream or dessert or pudding make some pudding and put on top of it mm -hmm. that stores um, for a long time in the refrigerator um and the, the girls always like that when i mm -hmm. make some extra up so here's one of those uh, secret weapons. Probably not so secret. A lot of people do this, but a good tavern glass or a, a coffee or no, a little um, juice glass. Don't you want it so um, it doesn't have a rim on the bottom? Really super flat on the bottom, or you could use uh, a nice flat uh, measuring cup and just press that bottom down uh, to the bottom of the pie pan. Doesn't have to be super hard, right? Uh, you want to be gentle with it but if you get that right sandy or wet sandy feel to it um, you'll feel it compacting under you okay. and uh, you just tap it down a few times so it's kind of just a feeling that you get when you you kind of just yeah well you'll see that it's packing down if it seems still seems loose like it's dry sand then you you know if you ever 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 feel like it it's getting it's too dry it's like dry sand uh, the really the best thing to do is take it out of this pie pan put it into your bowl melt another tablespoon of butter whip it up really quick and then start over again um, because if it's dry going in it's going to be just fall apart when you come out and it's not that hard just wet sand pack it down and you can kind of see here it's a nice it's pretty flat you can play basketball on that I think it's a nice hard court there <laughs> But that's that's what it does. It gets nice and uh, nice packed down. And it looks like if you have those sides just, there, they start. If you know, if you do knock something down, it can really easy to fix. Yeah, and then uh, 350 degree oven. 375. 375. 350. 375 degree oven for about nine to ten minutes, nine to eleven minutes. And uh, just so it's golden brown like yeah, that. And you can smell this nice toasty smell. That's kind of when you know it's ready to go. Um, now that's if, amazing. It looks just like sand, I think. So what I'm going to do is make this particular pie into a key lime pie, which we're going to make another video for, on how to make a good, basic, award-winning key lime pie. Uh, so I kept this baked more on the nine-minute side. If I was going to um, put in like a, a chocolate cream pie in this and not bake it again just put a, a pudding and and some other fillings in there uh, where I just wanted to bake it once I'd probably go more in the toast it up a little bit more and go with the 11 or 12 minutes because mm -hmm. uh, then it's done so um, in that case I'd probably go for a golden bottom this one I took it out before the the bottom started getting golden just the sides because I'm gonna put um, key lime in this and bake it for another oh, 15 okay. minutes so if you're not going to bake it again you can leave it in a little bit longer. right yeah so i go on the longer side this one i go went on the shorter side i just went till it got to golden brown on the edge of the crust because i don't want to burn the crust when i when i bake it so if you're going to use a graham cracker uh pie uh and bake it again 
uh, put it on the underside because you'll still be baking it, toasting it on your second, doing the second bake. Well, so this is a good pie crust for people to put on there. It uh, is, yes. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Yeah. Much easier than I thought it was. Yeah. So, well, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks, thanks for... Thanks, Jack. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> and we will uh, we'll be back again with uh, another pie recipe. Yay. Yay. Yay.